Hey, this is Mark Walton for GameSpot UK. We are here with Adrian, who is the creative director on Bulletstorm. Now, you're showing off two modes today, the first of which is Anarchy. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, so Anarchy is um, this uh, co-op online experience. And we figured that uh, we don't want to be owned by 13-year-old guys headshotting me from 100 meters away. And uh, so, so we, we're offering a co-op experience when you and your friends can just uh, you know, relax, work together against uh, a common goal. So the Anarchy mode is basically, there's a little bit of something you already know, which is wave-based design, games like, like Horde in Gears, for example. And this new kind of gameplay that Bulletstorm offers, which is this, you know, the tagline is kill with skill, basically killing enemies in, 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 in cool, impressive ways, rewards you with skill points. Um, and uh, the idea is that the only way to pass through the wave is to get a certain amount of skill points. So you have to work together and, and be really good at the game in order to, well, get to the end. And what's the second mode you're showing off today? And, and we actually found out that um, when people play single-player Bulletstorm, they get so engaged in the story that, 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 that we tell her that they sort of only scratch the surface of skill shot gameplay. And all the you know, tools of this possible, it's the weapons, it's the bus, the leash, it's the environment. Uh, and, and, and they use that, but again, they only scratch. So we thought, okay, let's take the single-player, um, uh, a few single-player moments and put them into separate modes, strip them off, all the dialogue, cinematics, whatnot, and let's just focus on combat there. And the idea is very, very simple. You just um, fight for points. So you can compete against your friends or against actually everybody else in the world. And, and, and it's very simple. You have more fr uh, points than your friend, you're better than him. That's it. So there's some absolutely crazy stuff going on in Bulletstorm. I mean, where did the idea for the, the kills and the point scoring come from? It started uh, a couple of years ago when we were, when you know Bulletstorm started as this sort of yes, crazy, yes, over the top shooter, but still normal stuff, so to speak. And then we um, we have noticed that with all the creative weapons that we have and, and these tools of distraction, that people actually enjoy their inner sadist during combat, and they do all kinds of crazy stuff that we didn't even anticipate. And we thought, hey, what if we actually named these actions, you know, gave them uh, a, a name, and rewarded you with points for doing just that. So is it someone's job to just sit there and come up with all these crazy actions? Like, say, you know, you could you could kick someone into a, an electric fence and then shoot them with a shotgun, and that'll be like a special move. Like, someone sit there all day and just come up with crazy ideas for that. That's exactly, that's exactly it, which is uh, one of the greatest jobs in the world, right? So um, we had even internal competition for, for the crazy skill shot. Not every single one we could do, but uh, most of them actually made it into the game. Can you give us an example of one you couldn't, that didn't make it into the game that you'd like to, to have made it? Oh, yeah, there was, uh, there was this one skill shot that basically was all about sending enemy up in the air, um, jibbing him mid-air and then standing right beneath the guy so you will be uh, basically soaking in his blood. But there were a couple of technical problems that stopped us from doing this skill shot. That sounds fantastic. So, I mean, you, you know, you've got a very, very different game to what other people are, are offering here. I mean, what is it that, you know, people are going to, that people that are used to shooters like Call of Duty or Battlefield, the traditional kind of warfare shooters, are going to get out of this? What are they going to get out of it? But that's the thing, right? You, 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 if you are um, a gamer who loves this kind of experiences, you want to be a Navy SEAL or a commando, there's already something out there for you. If you want to have crazy fun, if you want to be a space pirate or, or, or um, you just want to have these crazy adventures, there's not a lot um, of that out there. So, so this, is, this is our proposal, right, to, to the players. Um, we don't think you have enough of military shooters. When they are done right, they are great. But maybe, you know, you want something different every now and then, which, which Bulletstorm is. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, in my opinion, it's uh, something I call, it's, it's bad description, but complete package, meaning that we, we give you um, some of the best visuals in the industry, and we give you the story that's, uh, that's been written by Rick Remender, absolute kick-ass writer, and we give you this gameplay that feels fresh because it just hasn't been done before. Fantastic stuff. So when can we expect to see the game on shelves? It's uh, 24th of February in Europe on all three platforms.
Chris, thanks very much for your time. You can check out more on Bulletstorm over on the site. Just head over to GameSpot.com.